Hey, what's going on guys? The Bell Dam is back for a brand new video. And this is going to be my first book review of 2023. And the book I'm going to be <laughs> discussing is T. Kingfisher's What Moves the Dead. Now, prior to this, I have not read any, I have not read a single book by T. Kingfisher. In fact, I bought another one of her books, which is The Twisted Ones. So, <clears throat> I don't very, I don't know that much about her, I don't know that much about her writing style, but that's the thing I kind of like going to with these uh, with these authors that are really new to me. I get to kind of under I get a kind of I get to have an understanding of their writing styles and if they're an author I will seek out or not with with their future releases if they're just something for me. But T Kingfisher's What Moves the Dead. This is a reimagining of Edgar Allan Poe's short story. I assume it's a short story because I put it myself on a like pillar here or <laughs> I haven't read any of Edgar Allan Poe's books or stories. I know a horror fan like like I have I just haven't read any of his books. I mean, that's, a, that's not to say I won't read his books. I will probably at some point. I just haven't read them. So, I'm just saying, this is a reimagining of The Fall of the House of Usher. And I'm going to review this specifically on its own. And I just, all I know is that there are characters there are characters in this book that I've know or heard. They're just a part of the uh, original story by Poe, which is uh, Madeline and Roderick Usher. So, what this book is about is a retired soldier named Alex Easton. They get a letter uh, from their childhood friend from their childhood friend Madeline. And by the way, I should mention that this character is this, this book is set in 1890. But the character uh, in like the modern sense, they go by they identify as they slash them. But they don't use they slash them. They use like a different wording for their pronouns, but that's essentially what they are. So Alex Easton, they get this letter saying that their friend Madeline Usher is dying. And so they go out into this, uh, I forgot what, like, I don't recall where, but they go to this the house of Usher. And it's a very kind of, the descriptions of what it is, it's like a very kind of swampy, murky landscape. The house is in disrepair, and there's something going on the water around on this lake, some kind of fungi that's affecting the wildlife, and eventually it starts to infect everyone staying in the house. And this is a very small cast of characters in the story, but I'm going to be honest... I wasn't really, uh, the first half of this book, I wasn't really getting into it, like, the first hundred pages. I thought were just so, I just thought the pacing was a little slow. And, but, we're getting to know, we're getting to know the characters, and, like, the setting, and just, but I just found it kind of, uh, I found the pacing kind of dragging. 
And this book is only... This book is under 160 pages. It's a really... It's a very short... It's a very short novel. So, even though they put... Like, T. King, like T. Kingfisher puts as much as they... Puts as much as she can into, like, this, these characters. I really just didn't really get that attached to them. So, I was really struggling to read from their perspective. I was really... I was getting more... A little more engaged in the plot than with the characters. I mean, there is one character in this book that I was kind of getting an interest in, and that's the Doctor. But the character of Madeline, she said, the character of Madeline, they come to discover that she, some, she, starts to, she starts to succumb to something that's going on within the water, something that has to do with the fungi surrounding the property. And the descriptions in this book, the way I would the way I would describe it is, it feels very, it's a very cold and wet, kind of murky feeling story. Like, of whatever, like I, I just like I said, I just didn't, I, I couldn't attach to the characters. But I just found like this, I found the setting really kind of, I feel like I felt this setting. Like I could feel like how cold and wet this place really was. So I would applaud Miss Kingfisher for that. And it just feels so, it feels so grimy in a way. This, like, this place is falling apart. And I think this book is a lot more plot focused than it is character focused because we learn a little more we learn about the characters but this is a plot centered book and there's just like there's something like I said there's something affecting the wildlife because they come across these hairs that are surrounding the property and as you can see that's what they look like this is like something, they look like something out of Robert Eggers' The Witch. That's just what I was thinking of when they were describing these hairs. Just like... And... The horror element, which, of, which is what I was waiting for when this, when I was getting, trudging along through the first, like, hundred pages. It really started to come in when they... There's a scene where they capture a hair to find out what was going on, what's causing all this strange behavior that's occurring with these animals, with these wildlife. And there's a scene where they capture a hair and they perform an autopsy on it. And the stuff they discover is within the workings of it is so eerily disturbing. It's very unsettling. This book isn't really this book isn't really the scariest thing I have ever read. But it's just so it's unsettling enough in like the descriptions of what was going on, what's how the connections to the fungi are happening and what they're doing to these people. It's basically the fungi they come to the conclusion that the fungi is are reanimating the corpses. And it's just something to do with, it's almost like a fungi, it's like a, it's a host, essentially. And just like the stuff that happens, it's just so unsettling. But I think it just takes a long time to get there. And this is a pretty, this is a pretty short book. So... I'm not gonna say like I. I thought this book I. I thought this book was was okay. Um, I gave it like a. I will give it like a three point five out of five. I. I just I thought it was really. I thought the horror elements were really well done. But it just took a long. The pacing just took a long time to get there, so. Yeah, what moves the dead? Like, 
some really, like, really unsettling imagery. Just what I really, really, I enjoyed it. So, yeah, that's just my review of this book. Um, <laughs> yeah, just, if you read this book, let me know what you thought of it. And, uh, thank you for watching this little review. I really, really do appreciate it. And I will see you soon with a new video.